Hi, I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to chop fresh thyme. Um, thyme is a delightful little herb uh, that's used in a lot of like Mediterranean cooking. It's particularly delicious with the lamb, tomato, and eggs, not necessarily all at the same time, but its flavor goes, ha, huh, thyme, get it? But its flavor goes really well with each of those things. So a little tip about thyme. Um, if you are using dried thyme, use a third less than you would if the recipe called for fresh thyme uh, because dried is much more potent, so just something to remember. Um, so we are going to talk today about chopping thyme. And you would do this when you're going to actually leave thyme in a recipe, so you're not just like adding a sprig and taking it out after, but if you're doing like a sauce, a stew, some sort of baked dish, um, that's when you would need to chop thyme and let it stay in there. Um, so really simple to do. Um, you're not going to use the actual stem, like the sprig, you're just gonna pull the leaves off first. They're really teeny tiny, as you can tell. Um, so first what you're going to do is just slide the leaves off um, the stem. So just, just grab it and just kind of like slide it off. Just pull, pull, pull. You just kind of like move it with your fingers. And it's okay if the very tip like if you see this, if this like very soft part of the stem still still stays on, that's perfectly fine. It's just really like the woody kind of snappy bottom that you don't want to have any part of um, when you're actually putting it into a recipe and it will stay in there. As you can see, the leaves are so small, there's really not a lot of chopping that you'll be doing. You'll just kind of be cutting it in half and really like helping to release the flavors. Um, so just pull, pull, pull. And then I'm gonna just push it together in a little pile and kind of squeeze it and chop it. And so just squeeze and chop. And as you can see, I'm using a chef's knife, which means I have a lot of like knuckle clearance. I'm not like smashing my knuckles, which you know, you don't want to like hurt yourself while cooking, at least certainly not intentionally. Um, and if you're interested in knife skills, we're actually going to have a series of videos about that. So stay tuned. Um, so I'm just chopping, chopping, chopping and moving my fingers away as I do that and just chopping time. And there we go. And if you want it to be even tinier, like you want to mince it, you can give another pass through, uh, whatever the consistency of time that you want is. And there you have it, that's how you chop time. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at request at mahalo.com. And don't forget to check out our other great videos.